Hello and how's it going today? And I gotta say, what another revealing comeback from those from the men in red today. Absolutely incredible comeback right now. Okay, I won't say incredible, absolutely exaggerative. Another relieving comeback, just like the Forest match. The difference is, all our goals came from the second half. And I've got to admit though, we're, okay, part of the first half, I thought, yeah, we're going to be behind here. Yeah, but I can't see us scoring all the stoppy, you know, we gave away two silly goals. I mean, what what was that for the first goal that we conceded? But what was, what was what, what is our players doing when that when Villa took the free kick? McGinn had an easy sight there to score. You know, and what was Onana doing? What? He couldn't he catch it? But you can catch it like that? What that how was that? I mean uh, honest to God, that that free kick should have been easily prevented that first goal. The second goal, that was a pathetic def that was pathetic defending from that corner. To allow what was it? Who I forgot who scored the, the second goal for Villa right now. He he just got that shot straight in there. And what's Varane doing? The defence was just standing there. No one picked up the the guy, the, the player on the side. What was going on right there? And we, we had, you know, I'll tell you one thing right now. I think we deserve to score somewhere. You know, I thought the night, the how it was going, I don't think we're ever going to score. But we, we were going offside too many times in that first half. Seriously. You know, you had them, what, Rashford went through, could have scored. You know, opportunity saved by the keeper. You know, there was one chance we had we put that wide before that. You know, we, we you know, I think we we had a few opportunities that went wide as well. It's like Fernandez, we had an opportunity that went wide, and then we just went going offside constantly. And that that's what annoyed me the most. And I thought after we went to the down, we responded quite well. And I was at one day, no, I don't think we're gonna score here tonight. It could be three 0 to Villa. I had down my super six by the way, three 0 Villa. <laughs> Very positive I am as you know. <laughs> but that's the thing though. I thought in my mind if United get a 1, even if it's still 2 0, I know what this United team can be like. When they go 2 0 down like this, in this manner, we could come back to win this. Or anything of such. I mean, I didn't want to get my hopes up. You know, uh, you know and as soon as the second, as soon as our first goal went in, oh my god. I was like getting that coming. I had to watch on the streams, so it's a different feel. But I didn't want to get myself carried away because I was like, United defence could see the third against this. Let's not celebrate too early. Before that, the natural should have. Had, a, had another goal, he could have had a hat trick. You know, if if Rashford had, had played the ball a bit more later, Ganacho would have would have had his first goal then. I've got to say, lovely movement there, pretty quick. You know, Fernandez played a bit of a part in it. I forgot who passed it to Rashford that time, but Rashford put it there. You know, and then Ganacho just had a little bit of a tiny bit of a hit down the ball and then went in the net. Brilliant, and I knew that could be a turning point. Once his United team get one from two down, they can come back. I'm telling you. It's such a shame we didn't end 4-2 to United. What a win that would have been. You know, I've got to admit, wow. And Villa as well. Oh, I'll give you a start on them soon. I'm telling you, a lot, a lot of you football fans have already known it. And then I, I and then I never another goal right there for, for Ganacho. Boom, right in the penalty box. Who the hell? I can't keep up with who passed it to who, but whoever passed to Ganacho, clever. He went through, then boom. And it took a deflection. You know what? It was gone on target. Whoever, I was thinking it probably about where one knowing him. They deflected, boom, went in the net, and I was like, yep, yeah, we're going to win this. We're going to win this. And get this, the, st the start was, I'm going to give you right now is that Villa have never lost from a winning position. Hmm. Wow. Um. And yet, we're the only team to have done that this season. This is what United are all about, though. They can have an incredible win in one game. It's almost like we have an incredible win. That's why this club supported. Even to this day and age now, we can produce moments like this of an incredible comeback. I saw like a two or three year old kid, you know, cheering like that. I was like, yeah, he's going to watch you now. It's a shame. He's never heard much stories of United in the past. You know, that would have made him draw to me even earlier. But still, that's a moment for these even young kids as well to watch, you know, score as it's happening. Even like United fans of other countries witnessed their comeback like this. You know, I should have said that actually at the end after the third goal. But yeah, Got a brilliant movement. I mean, I think it was all United now. No, was it second half? But I must add though, as soon as we got one back, I think was it even bit who who was it that made it? Was it McGinn or that? No, McGinn was brilliant though for me. I can't I can't lie about that. Um, I got so they had the opportunity, but Onana made an incredible save. I was just like, I was my heart was pumping. 
He knew it was on a stream and the stream was behind. I was just getting scared right there. And told me we had to defend it right out in the, at the odd times. That's what you've got to do. You know, I still think they were quite dangerous. You know, as soon as we went at 2 2, we'd have hanged on. They were sloppy, just giving the ball away. You know, and we, we, we pressurized them. We put pressure on We went in hard on them. We just, we, we were like, I think we were all off them. You know, we didn't even have to play that well to score those goals. And I got to say, Hoyland, wow, brilliant. Finally, he's got his goal. I am happy for him. I rate, I rate this guy highly. The passion he showed, that's what we needed. Him and Ganacho showed passion. You know, Hoyland was like, oh, come on, come on. And I was like that as well. Because he's a good player. He easy look like scoring when, when you do give the ball to him. And look at that. He got service now. Well, there you go. See, United fans, he get, when he gets service, he can produce. It's a shame his goal against Brighton didn't stand, though. But he has his goal at last. I think that's his sixth goal in all competitions. Family in the Champions League and one here. He's, he he's proven that he can be a goal scorer. Wow. I mean, that was a great finish, too, right? And I think it was from a corner, too, you know. When soon as I went out in. Because I was looking at my flash scores and I saw a big chance for you know, I was after heights, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, because you're cheering earlier than actually when you're watching it on the stream. Brilliant, like, I, I was, like, happy for him, though, because, you know, he, he can turn out to be a good player. He's not, I don't think he'd be a natural goal scorer, given his age. But I'll tell you what, he's definitely someone we needed. Forget about Mount and Amma, but he's definitely the main player we needed. Turn out has got something right with this good dude. You know... And yeah, I know like people will say, yeah, but Ten Hag is something about we had to come up from 2 0 down, blah, blah, blah. That's when we only played true. True. You know, I could have done with just conceding one, but we still, you know, we were, uh, you know, this United team must, you know, have not scored in four matches. So for us to even get one is, is, a, is an incredible miracle. So we can't criticize them too much. We played against a title contender team, and we got a fantastic result against them. And we've actually beaten them, a team that hasn't even lost the season when from when they went ahead. And now they have City, Arsenal and, Ch and Chelsea could not score past them. A little put it at Anfield, but that's Anfield though. But I'm just giving an example. Those teams couldn't score past them and we scored three past them and we're awful. So this goes to show United were always going to end up scoring at some point. I just didn't know when it was going to come. And, yeah, I don't know, is Ten Hag the right man? He may not be the right man, but sure, the players can produce a moment like this of, of incredible magic, you could say. And there's a relieving comeback. We've been happy we got a fourth. You know, I can't lie. I mean, I thought, you know, was it Juan Bissaka or something like that was good today? Fernandez, a bit of a moan, but still brilliant. You got me the, the defence to not concede a third. They, they actually woke up a little bit in that half. But the midfield and the... the the strikers were brilliant today. Well, tonight, I should say. We're brilliant tonight. And there you go, Liverpool. We helped you. You know, I, we're sorry we couldn't lose another game for you. But there you go. Same for you as well, City. Same for you, Arsenal. We're sorry we couldn't lose another game. And Tottenham. We're sorry we couldn't lose this other game tonight. we got to do what we got to do. We have to win at some point. We won't go for the rest of the season without scoring. So there you go. I mean, yeah, if he's not the right man, at least the next manager that comes to have work, you know, work with these players. If these players can show passion before conceding goals, it'll be a different sort of game. Seriously. And I'm happy for these players, aren't you? And the players that came, who was it? That, that player called Gore? And another player that came on, I forgot the other player's name is Substitute. I should know these names. Gore was absolutely terrific. Coming onto the pitch, defending well, pressure. Even when 3 2 up, you thought, obviously, oh, United could hold on here, squeaky bum time. We were putting pressure on them. We were. We were giving out giving a fouls, a tactical fouls. It was absolutely sensational to watch this United team like this. Similar to Fergie, this this match reminded me of Mourinho when we were two 0 down at home to Newcastle and we came back to win three two at Old Trafford. That was two 0 down at half time to him. So it kind of had a feel like that. Forest, we should it should have been four five two because we scored in the first half in that match. But this one here, this I I just wanted to win. I'm happy that we won. And Chelsea, how is it going down here, Chelsea? You're, you're nine points behind us now. That's okay. So, okay, tomorrow, tomorrow you can make it you know, six. You'll be playing Palace at home tomorrow. That should be an easy game for you. You, know, you might, you might, you know, overlap us. But we've been ahead of you for since the start of the season, I think. 
I'm pretty sure about that, yeah. So don't worry. And we're not far away from City. If you re if we showed a little bit more in matches, top four would be there because I know everyone's moaning about United not getting top four and stuff, but I want the FA Cup. I want something. I want a, a cup to cling on to. Each time you can say, oh, we could have done something memorable that last season, winning something. That's all I want, winning something. Not just playing good football. Playing good football is nothing if you don't, you know, win a trophy. Playing good football but not winning anything is like paying, you know, it's like paying to go meet a date somewhere. And yet the guy's date doesn't turn up. But then the guy says, he's wasting money on going out. No, but you're wasting money on going nowhere. That's what it feels like. You know, that, that's a perfect comparison right there. And, yeah, I hope they open the win this league. But you know what? That win tonight, I'm happy we stopped Liverpool winning and we beat Villa. It just kind of goes to show United have something in their locker. Yeah, there's something to be, something to be fixed. But just get wins on the board, United. It wasn't that difficult for you to produce more. That's why we chose you. That's why these players are picked. You know, Ganacho is a good player somehow. You know, and uh, we didn't even need McTominay for this. I think he played, yeah. But the main players were the players that scored and the players that took part in the scoring. Obviously, fantastic. You know, and there's nothing else I can say about it, to be honest. Apart from that, I mean, the crowd started to get going. I don't know what Ten Hag said to them, but whatever he said to them, I good on you, man. I mean, it's, but it's weird, though. At one moment, you think the players are, play for the, are not playing for the manager, but then the next moment, they are. Which one is it? Make up your mind, players. You want you have a plane for the manager, you're not. Because what's the point of knowing that in the pitch if you didn't put it over the previous matches? It doesn't make any sense. You know, like passion is what was needed, but also score the goals. You know, I don't care if we don't finish off enough opportunities, as long as we still win the game. You know, so good night for us. Good night for yeah, for Liverpool. Luton had a fantastic win. I was watching it on stream, fantastic game. Well done, Luton. You're proving to be Premier League worthy now. Um, Newcastle, what an incredible shock that was. Forrest going then scoring three and winning three. That, that, how's that, how that normal? I fancy Nicholas for that one. Bournemouth, easy when he gets from them in a bit of form as well. Um, Fulham dropping off a little bit here. I'm telling you that much right now. Tomorrow's matches, don't know how that's going to be. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, comment, share with everyone you know. Subscribe and hit the bell notification bell. I'll see you in my next video.